Hello and welcome to this uh, 360 video for the chemistry department at the University of Bath. I am Dan Pantos and I am the admissions tutor and here with me I have Dr. Simon Lewis Hi there. who is on the admissions team. So chemistry at the University of Bath is located in two buildings, one south which is chemistry research and three south which is chemistry teaching. And here we go, we'll go to see, show you our teaching facilities. All right, so here we go. We have our PPE on, so we have yep. our lab so we're good. and the safety specs. We can go straight in the lab. So here on the ground floor, this is the physical chemistry lab. So in we come. All right, so here is the uh, physical chemistry lab. And uh, it's a Thursday, so this is a year one physical chemistry lab class. So in here, students are working either alone or in pairs. And as you can see in the lab now, uh, we have students, first year students that have white lab coats and then support staff that have darker or colored lab coats. We have a nice color coding system in the sense that the senior demonstrator, which is Fiona in, in the back there, an academic, um, is having a dark lab coat and uh, the PhD students helping with the experiments, the demonstrators, have also dark lab coats while the support technical staff have red or green lab coats. And this is just to show you our physical chemistry laboratory. In this lab, the experiments are not so much about making molecules, uh, it's really more concerned with measuring the properties of, of certain substances. So that's what ultimately the experiments are all about. All right. So now uh, we'll go upstairs to the synthetic lab. Thank you very much, guys. See you. Thanks, Fiona. Bye-bye. So now we go up the stairs, and uh, in here actually, before we go up the stairs, what you see there, uh, that, that blue door that says entrance only, that is our computational chemistry lab. And students would go in there in a normal year and do molecular modeling. So basically that's what you do when you want to predict the properties of molecules before you make them, right? So this is extremely powerful, especially in, in modern medicine, in modern pharma. So um, you'll get to do that hands-on, Obviously now, because everything is remote, the students can access the computers remotely and they do the work from, from their uh, rooms. But now we go to the uh, synthetic lab. All right. Okay. And in here, on the top floor, we have also some communal area for students and there are some lockers uh, where students can leave their belongings. Um, needless to say, um, it is much quieter than usual because of the uh, restrictions, the social distancing restrictions. And now we're going into the synthetic lab. All right. So here in the uh, synthetic lab, we teach both organic and inorganic chemistry courses. Uh, so this lab is about uh, double the size of the one downstairs, and we have roughly double the number of students in. As Dan said, in a normal year, you would have more students in this lab, but we're adhering to capacity limits, so we can only have a certain number in the lab at once. And then what that means, of course, is they can't all do the experiment at the same time. They have to take it in turns over subsequent lab sessions. So here, what happens is, if you can see here on this blue cabinet, there are some numbers. Each student is assigned a cabinet at the beginning of the year. And then in there you have all the glassware that you need for the experiments that you will be doing each uh, week. Then you have a lab manual and I can see over there a student is looking at their lab manual. And in the lab manual you'll have all the experiments that you need to do detailed with all the questions that you need to answer and all that. And then afterwards, after the experiment is done, you get to write a lab report which will be marked by a member of staff. Um, and like that you get your uh, formative assessment because you will get feedback from what you have done in um, that particular lab and also in the report. Needless to say, here we have as well uh, support staff that are here to help you guys when you do the experiments and to answer your questions. But of course to make sure that you are safe and that you're learning the techniques properly. All right, so now we get out of the teaching lab. Yeah, let's leave these guys in peace. Yes, thank you guys, see you later. Bye-bye.